Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and today I want to walk you through a quick tutorial in Tableau about how to compare month-to-date values to previous month-to-date values. Uh, if you found this video, I'm guessing that you probably already realized that doing that isn't as simple as just a single click. We're going to need a couple of calculations to do this. If you're wanting to follow along uh, with the way that I'm doing this in the video, pretty much any data source that has a date field and a measure should work. Um, but if you want to follow along with exactly what I'm doing, um, I've pulled up the file path here in Notepad, uh, and you can see that uh, I'm using a Excel file called Sample Superstore Sales, and uh, it's just in my Tableau repository, data sources, whatever your latest version of Tableau is, and then within that next folder, English US US. Okay. I'm working on this in late March uh, 2020. So this data set actually ends at the end of 2020. So if I want to do month to date compared to previous month to date, I need data that goes through 2021. So I actually created a quick calculated field um, to be able to account for that. You can see that here. Uh, so I just called it date and I just added one year to the existing order date field. So now I have data that runs all the way through December 31st 2021, which should help with our examples. All right, so let's start by creating a month to date calculation. Um, I've kind of gone through a variety of different ways of doing this over the years, but here's the updated way that I create this. So first of all, I'm going to go to my date field and then I'm going to say create calculated field. And I'll just call this sales MTD or month to date. Okay. So the way that this works is I'm going to say if the date diff in months between my date and today equals zero, then sales end. Okay. So if I never had future data in my data set, so today is March 26th, um, if I never had future data, then this would be it. I have a weird situation where I kind of mess with my dates to get them to work. So I'm going to want to add one additional element to this, which is to say if the date diff equals zero and uh, my date is less than or equal to today. Okay. Uh, very likely you will not need that, but I'll show you why that's important here in just a moment. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to filter my date field down to, uh, well, actually, I'll just go ahead and show, hmm, I'll just show every day, actually. Let's just go ahead and show everything. So I'm going to grab my date field, and I'm going to go ahead and put month, day, year on my row shelf. And then I'm going to put sales of MTD, month to date, on text in the marks card. So expectedly, there's, it's not showing up in 2018 or 2019. But what I'm hoping is that by the time we get to March 2021, um, we'll start to see some values pop up. Okay, so there you go. You can see, I guess there was no data for March 21st. So March, or March 1st. So March 2nd is our first value. And then you can see that today, March 26th, is our last value. Perfect. That's what we want. So if our if we create a calculated field called sales previous month to date and it works, it should just show us values for February 1st through 26th. So that 28th value should be blank. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, to make this pretty simple, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate my sales month to date. So I right click on sales month to date. Okay, and then I'm just gonna select duplicate. And now that copy that's been created, I'm going to hit the drop down next to that and select edit. And this will be sales previous month today. So two differences here. Let me zoom in so you can see this. First of all, now the date difference is going to be one month. Okay. And just something to be careful of here. Um, I'm kind of cautious when I indicate my date part in the date diff function. I try and put it in single quotes, lowercase singular. Um, some older versions of Tableau can be sensitive to that, so that's kind of your, your safest option. Um, so if the date difference in month between date and today equals one, and then here's the next part, you're going to want to say the day of date is less than or equal to the day 
of today. So you might be wondering, what's this day function? Why would we want this? So if I click on the day function, you can see an example over here, okay? So Tableau tells us the way that the day function works is if I ask for the day and the date is April 12th, 2004, it just spits out the number 12 because it's the 12th day of that month. So what this will do is it will say, well, today is the 26th day of today's month. So the date from last month also has to be less than or equal to that date. So I'll hit OK. I'm going to double click on sales previous month to date. And then we should see it pop up like so. So it starts on February 2nd, 2021. And then it goes through February 6th, 2021. So that's kind of big picture, how you create those month to date, previous month to date. I'll go ahead and just do one more step into this, which is to say, how do I create a calculation that would compare them to each other? So let's say using the Superstore data, I want to know which categories grew by the largest dollar amount from last month to date to this month to date. Okay, so I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'll call this MTD uh, sales difference. And what this is going to be, I'm just going to drag sales month to date in here. So this will be my sum of my sales month to date minus my sum of my sales previous month to date. So let's say that this month to date is 10,000, last month 9,000, 10,000 minus 9,000, $1,000. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a new worksheet and I'll call this uh, category MTD uh, sales growth. Maybe I'll say MTD versus previous month to date, just to make that very clear. So let me drag category onto the row shelf. Let me drag my month to date sales different onto the column shelf. We'll do a descending sort here. So I can see technology grew by $22,000. Let's go ahead and grab both sales month to date and previous month to date and drag those both onto the tooltip just to confirm that those numbers make sense. Uh, so sales this month to date is 28,000 and sales last month to date was uh, 6,000. That makes sense, the growth of $22,000. So that's our walkthrough for how to do month to date versus previous month to date. I hope this has been helpful. Um, we'll look forward to doing some more of these walkthroughs soon. Uh, thanks for following along.